السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بداية قبل إلقاء الكلمة حابب أن أعبر عن سعادتي لتواجدي في بلدي الثاني الكويت بلد قضيت فيه طفولة جميلة على أقل تقدير يعني وسعيد جدا لتواجدي معكم اليوم وهذا الورشة أو المؤتمر اليوم دليل على اهتمام الحكومة الكويتية بمواكبة التطور الموجود في العالم. Good morning all uh, ladies and gentlemen. So my colleagues touched base on digitization at, at work and, and uh, the journey that needs to be followed and I'll, I'll follow a similar path with a focus on um, obviously processes related to um, documents and document management. So the digital age promises so much. A world where people process and technology come together to make everything effortless. When work flows, the results can be powerful. Electronic hospital records make it easier to save lives. Helicopters stay airborne because digitized documents are instantly accessible. And intelligent call center softwares make our day a little brighter with the answers we need. However, in reality, while organizations have ambitions for a lean and agile digital future, their present is still weighed down by paper. Not only does this undermine productivity by per perpetuating slow and expensive manual processes, it's oh so wasteful. Easily half of the paper we print at work is only used once and then thrown away. Surely we can do better. If you have a big ambition for becoming a digital enterprise or an organization, but a long way still to go in freeing your organization from paper-based processes, you wouldn't want to skip the step that sets you up for success. Many organizations around the world seem to be doing just that. They're digitizing before the data is in, automating without first analyzing where they are at, in short, they're failing to make a level-headed assessment of paper use and the flow of documents before throwing themselves into the digital race. The message that I'd like to share with you today is simple. Start with data. Analyze and assess before you optimize or automate. Use insights to inform your digitization choices because that's how you make better choices. And why wouldn't you want to do that? In the second half of 2015, Coleman Park's research surveyed 600 IT decision makers, influencers from organizations in the USA, Canada, as well as Western Europe. All respondents had responsibilities that included digital technology strategy, solutions, and infrastructure. Reflecting on our personal lives, it's easy to believe that we live in a digital age. But at work, paper-based processes are still the rule, especially in the Middle East. It's easy to believe that this is the norm at the moment. Less than half of our respondents work in organizations where processes are mostly or fully digitized. Again, less than half, and that's in the US and Europe. The picture is similar for other key digital initiatives. There's been a lot of progress, but there's still some way to go. We found that 37% still don't have strategies in place for social media. 40% haven't yet implemented solutions for mobile working. 45% have not yet incorporated or improved predictive analysis through big data. In the survey, it was clear, clearly evident that our respondents are ambitious. 71% of them have identified processes that would benefit from intelligent automation technologies. And in 2018, almost two-thirds expect to be working in digitized enterprises, compared with less than half today. And on average, less than 10% of the processes will be entirely paper-based. 
We found out that the main drivers for digitization are cost, information security, agility, speed of service, and data management. We asked about seven activities that are broadly representative of document-intensive processes in large organizations. 55% of the respondents are still mostly paper-based. And 15% are essentially completely paper-based. Jump forward to 2018, the outlook seems good. There are fewer laggers with those that are prepared or paper-based in more than half of the processes dropping by a third from 55 to 37%. If the biggest laggers don't get a move on, they risk falling further and further behind and losing out on the competitive advantages derived from becoming a digital enterprise. So based on that, we have to ask, why print analytics are key to success? Most documents today start their life on a computer or a tablet or a smartphone. Devices that offer easy sharing and storage. Why, wouldn't, why would anyone print these documents? Yet they do. Large organizations typically print millions of pages every year. How can you hope to pull down paper-based barriers if you don't understand where, when, and why all this printing is happening? By analyzing employee print habits, you can see hidden opportunities for digitization where paper use is unnecessarily high. Without such insight, all you can do is guess, at best, candidates for process digitization or workflow automation. And guesses are never as reliable as well-analyzed data. Here's an example. A government institution noticed a big drop in print volumes for one of its centralized print rooms. It identified the missing print as training documents. The organization knew that the training was still happening, so it assumed that the documents were being digitally distributed rather than printed. An excellent result. When Xerox analyzed the, the organization's printing, they got a surprise, and not a pleasant one. The training documents were being printed on office devices. Not only was paper use as high as before, it was costing more. Additionally, sensitive internal documents could potentially be exposed on unsecured printers. We identified that 72,000 pages were printed every month just for training. 80% of these pages were thrown away at the end of the course. Understanding and overcoming the barriers to digitization was an obvious priority in this case and one that was hidden until we did the analysis. Our survey shows that half of those with print analysis tools are not even using them. But why? We believe that mostly it's because these tools are of limited values in identifying insufficiencies in paper-based processes. When respondents say they have good print analysis tools, we suspect they mean we can count the number of pages we're printing. We know what's black and white and what's color. We can drill down to a certain level of granularity. But they can't get specific about who is printing what and why. There are good tools to measure print volumes. And there are good tools to extract meaningful insights from print data. And these are two very different beasts. Organizations may have the first but very few have the second. And most are unaware that basic print analytics has evolved into sophisticated document and workflow analytics. The other factor is one of resource, our people. Whether to do this in-house or through a third party. In the digital age, the data keeps coming. To use it well, you need expertise and focus the right kind of resource. 
and a lot of it. Luckily, today a little can go a long way. When the right people use the right tools in the right way, people, technology, and process come together with amazing results. Not too long ago, it took time-consuming, resource-intensive consultancy engagement to uncover why people were printing. Not anymore. In the right hands, today's sophisticated document analytics tools reveal most of what we you need to know quickly and clearly. If consultancy is still called for, it can be better targeted, shorter, and less expensive. Imagine you are the government organization which I just referred to earlier. Quantitative document analytics, a small amount of interviewing, have identified the training and some other processes as our big paper users. It's been quick and cost effective. Before you spend a penny on detailed workflow study, you know which processes are causing headaches. And because your further investment is targeted, you're more likely to put the right digitization solutions in place. Sixty-five percent of respondents say the print documents to have a hard copy, they print documents to have a hard copy for reference files. But let me ask these few questions to all of you. Is paper, en paper entering your organization from the outside and not being scanned? Do employees find scribbling on paper more efficient than digital annotation? Do you have people typing data from documents into databases without the benefit of two screens? Is, train is the training room not set up to use documents electronically? Learning these things about your organization before digitizing will multiply your chances of success many times over. We find it helpful to think about digitization in three stages, each of which delivers increasing value for the given investment. It won't surprise you to discover that the first stage starts with taking stock thorough measurement, sorry, taking stock through measurement and anal analysis. Organizations foresee a lean, agile, digital future, but the present, again, is still badly weighed down by paper. The disconnect between the vision and the steps required to achieve, to achieve it has stalled the promise of digitization. In summary, I'd like to keep you, or leave you with these three stages in mind if you are considering digital migration. Number one, assess and optimize. Start by auditing, tracking, measuring, analyzing your use of paper. Optimize might mean digitizing, or it might even mean first re-engineering paper-based processes, but it should follow assess assessment and be based on the insights that it delivers to assure results. Xerox can help with this step through managed print services, through some of the tools available with ConnectKey or with, with any of our um, solutions that, that we can share with you um, moving forward. Number two, secure and integrate. Never forget the bigger picture. Cost, security, and agility are the key drivers of digitization. You won't get the results you want if you don't build in security and make absolutely sure that technology, process, and people can play together. And finally, automate and simplify. If you're like the large majority of our respondents, you'll be eyeing up candidates for workflow automation, as you should. It's where so much benefit will come. All we're saying is, don't forget that assessing and optimizing come before automating and simplifying. Thank you very much. Thank you.